high court enforcement agents, we've got high court me. I'd like to sort this out face to face. Peace out. Twelve billion pounds is owed to people and businesses in the UK. Don't do that, sir. There is money owed, and it has to be paid. When all other attempts to settle a debt have failed... It's quite a lot of money, it's over £5,000. Can you come to the door, please? Cases can end up at the High Court. Nothing can conquer the writ. Where a judgment commands enforcement officers to recover what's owed. Our agents are the last chance saloon. Let's go! A High Court writ... All checking desks are going to be closed until this matter is resolved. ...gives agents the authority to enter unlocked homes and businesses. We've made contact, we know they're there. We're enforcement agents. Everybody leaves a trail. And to seize and sell property. If you think we're doing something illegal, call the police. They're trying to do everything they can, apart from actually pay the bill. To finally get debts paid. They want us to get their money back. £56,076, pence outstanding. In these difficult times... But I need to go on. Agents find ways for people to clear their debts. We're not ogres, we're nice people. I hope it'll be a weight off the shoulders then. But every day, oh, the police now. they face aggression. You wanna put me? Don't do this again! Hey. And abuse. Get out of my way! As they try to settle debts. Watch your back, Chris! This is 70 grand here. That no one else can. He thinks he can fight me. Yeah. Let's see. I know. Do what do? Rent arrears are bread and butter for High Court enforcement agents. They can quickly mount up to thousands of pounds, leaving property owners seriously in debt themselves. We are literally the last resort to get the money back for them. They're relying on us. When all other attempts have failed, the High Court will command agents to recover the money owed. It comes down to the claimant, you know, they want their money. Why should this person get away with keeping it? Right, David, we've been here before, haven't we? This is the second visit. Yeah. I'm hoping today that we actually catch him there because it was a bit later last time. Enforcement agents Sherry and David are trying to find a man who owes thousands in unpaid rent. And this isn't the first time they've tried the address they're heading to. Does he live here, madam? No, no, do you know where he lives then, please? Because we have this address for him. I think she knows more than what she's letting on. Armed with a High Court writ, they're going back for a second look. I do suspect that he is either living there or staying there. This is quite a lot of money, though, isn't it? Hopefully. We'll get a resolution today. Not a thing in curtain move or anything like that. Shall we try a side door? Yes, let's go around here. Cherry. Is it back door? Yeah. Hello, enforcement agent. Look, men's shoes. Hello, enforcement agent. Good morning, enforcement. Good morning. Oh, yeah, we've been here before. Can you step outside? You can't sit inside my house. Can you step outside? No. Get up. No, you no, don't you, want to no, no, do that. No, no, we'll have to call, no, we'll have to call the police. No, no, no. No, you don't. Look, we'll call, the, po we'll call the police. Get out. We'll call. Call yeah. the, please call the police. Look. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. That's assault. Hang on a minute. That's assault. That? No. No. Let no. Me, let me. We don't need no. to. Let's we'll call the police outside. if they have to do okay. that again. You can't break and enter into my house. And no, you can't open the can't. door for you. Peaceful entry. Not. The door is no. unlocked. No. I, I didn't open it for you. Let me explain to you. No, go no. outside. Okay. Don't explain to me. Go that's, outside. That's you broke that's and enter, entered into my house. Sir, you're Daniel, aren't you? Well, I've heard her just call you Danny. So if it's not you, could you show us who you are, please? We're going to start getting physical here. Again, if you Oh, so you're threatening us. us. It can be dangerous, yes. But you're on camera, bear in mind. I don't give a toss. But I understand if they start shouting at you, get out of the house, I didn't invite you in. Hi, you're breaking the law. No. You just made a threat <clears throat> as well. Hello, could I have a police, please? I wouldn't be there if the judge hadn't decided that I should be there with a the High Court writ. Police are on their way.
Enforcement agents Mark and Sam Hello. are also hot on the trail Hello there. of a man who owes money for unpaid rent. We have a new address for a judgment. It would be great if you could make a, an urgent attendance. A high court writ has been issued, commanding agents to recover over £85,000. I know if someone owed me 90 k I'd be stressed out. Yeah. So it's not just money, is it? It's, it's their life. Landlord requests for help to recover rent debt increased by 180% in 2021. With many claims against tenants who withheld rent during the pandemic eviction ban, when landlords couldn't remove them. I do feel sorry for my claimants, you know. Some landlords have been hit hard. They could potentially lose their homes through that. West London, it's a nice flat in a nice area. In affluent parts of London, a two-bedroom rental property in a prime location can cost up to £6,500 a month. This is large debt for us, but for these people, it might just be Nothing. a drop in the ocean. So, we need to find some assets. The agents are attending a different address to the one where tens of thousands of pounds in rent has gone unpaid. They believe this is where they will find the man named on the High Court writ, Mr. Bada Alazimi. Hello, my name's Sam. Hello, so I'm Mark, I'm the High Court Enforcement Agent. We need to sort this out, OK, because there's a large amount outstanding. We need to sort this out to minimise the stress in your sales. Sir, can you come to the door, please? There's a lot of people, noises in there. Yeah. Patience is key in this game, so we've got to change our tactics to match for debtors. Coming up, the police make an alarming discovery in Coventry. It's not even a weapon. And Sam and Mark face more aggressive behaviour. Enforcement agent Sam is trying to find Mr. Bada Alazimi, who owes someone £85,000 in unpaid rent and fees. Oh, police, I'll come back. Okay? Right? Oh, police, I'll come back. Please, will be. Yes, oh, please. Talk to me. Right, now listen to me. Give me an idea. I can... Listen to me. I appreciate I've got bad news for you, you know, and I appreciate that you're probably not having the best day ever. However, you, you're going to have to get the news one way or another. Um... The abuse is just, yeah, it's unreal. The man claims he is not the person named on the High Court writ, Mr. Alazimi. Right, have a chat with me. So Sam asked to see his ID. See my ID? Yeah, well, that's fine. So then that's what we need to do. We need to resolve Don't this. Don't jump this again like this. Right, can I see you? Don't take it from my right. hand. My name is Mishari. Well, I can't see it. No, no, you hold you it there. Thank no, you. No, you can't see it like this. Right. The driving license he shows Sam. This is not my ID or what? Well, you look a bit different with long hair. Is not the one they already have for Mr. Al-Azimi. Shari. Uh, this one, this one different me? 
This one is in the name of a Mr. Mashari Alanezi, who isn't named on the High Court writ. You need to talk to me, right? Have a chat with me. Come on. She is pregnant. I'm not talking you to her. You're doing this? Why well, you push her? I did not push her. It's on my camera. So no one can touch me. Don't. Go, go back. Go Listen. She's a good bitch. Sam's colleague Mark rejoins her. He's hiding something. Oh my god. With photographic ID for Mr. Alazimi already in their possession, Sam's confident they have their man, and he's not showing them his real identification. People lie all the time. Um, what they don't get is it makes matters worse. The agents need to be 100% certain that a person they are speaking to is, or isn't, the person named on a High Court writ before they call off the enforcement. The agents press on and ask Mr. Alazimi for other forms of ID. What? I deal with one only. Who's you or him? I talk to him. I believe you are him. All right. The man says he will find more documentation. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just down here. That's what I'm not going to go. I'm right or no. no, 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 right no, no. Or no. Listen, just, listen, I'm trying to help you here. Just, I'm right. I'm really... No, no, I like to. The door is closed. Wait, we'll just talk about Wait it. Here. Right. Wait here. Wait here. I know it's upsetting. Now, I do apologise, honestly, because we've got a high court writ, we're allowed to enter. Yeah? I want to look, say that, OK, I've looked. I don't see anything of this man in this house. Yes, yeah, so man, and then, you're looking for man. Man, look. This one, see? This one, I know where Yeah, this is the one we want. <laughs> it's all to tell. Still claiming he's not him, the man says Mr. Alazimi was actually a previous occupant at the address. The agents will still need to see proof that they've not already found who they're looking for. The debtors try their hardest to throw us off the scent. They produce paperwork, they get people phoning up claiming they're solicitors. Uh, it, they just try and provide as much smoke and mirrors as possible. Agents can make peaceful entry into someone's home if they reasonably believe it is the residence of a person named on a high court writ. This young lady here is going to do a quick search. Um, you have to talk okay. to me. No, she's trying to get past. No, OK, OK, I scared. OK, can you, you show me what you do? Don't push my stuff. Come there, talk to me. I'm right here. Nicely. Well, nice. Come there, talk no, no. to me nicely. Wait, yes. don't push, don't yes. push. Yes, talk to me like this. Carry on, that just call them. Yeah, because I say stop there. I don't here. care. No, no, stop no. there, doctor. Listen, please. I'm standing here. No, no, stop here. there. Stop he, there. He I'll stand here. Stop that. there. I show you my ID. Wait, wait, you are not. No, you are. You are. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm not touching it. Wait. Can you go out? You are. Good to show. Right. Just call the police now. Be call the police. That is uncalled for. Yeah. Call police. Yes, we are. Yes. I'm a high court enforcement agent enforcing the high court writ. So we're inside a property, and the gentleman just assaulted myself and a female. Right. Okay. If you wait outside the property, OK, until the police arrive. OK, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye. Yeah. You've gone out the front, not? I ain't going far with the van there. No. In the West Midlands... Good morning. ..the police have arrived to assist Sherry and David with an aggressive man they believe owes nearly £12,000 in unpaid rent. He's assaulted him already, okay. he's yeah. threatened us, um, yeah. so we and need... Let, we believe someone's gone out the front door, we believe they've gone. OK. Do you uh, see that, by the way? There's no reason that needs to be on the back door. If well, you we just, the we if you we, we just recorded that, which could be used to seriously injure somebody, he's being kept by a back well, door. Did... That's all I was letting them know, because they obviously haven't seen it. So I'm just letting them know, okay? That has nothing, because I'm doing my love and the, the builders, and they am need I, am, it am to, to dismantle the love, the things am, upstairs in the am. loft. It has nothing to do with that, and it's not even a weapon. Right, is uh, Daniel here? You saw them this morning. There you go, that's it. He was him, yeah. He was here he and he's him. gone, yes. With the admission that the person they are looking for was the man who threatened Sherry and David earlier, the agents have finally found their debtor. David, let's go on. But as he's disappeared, they will look for property owned by him which could be seized and sold to repay the debt. When you know somebody owes the money, 
The worst part is the frustration when you just can't get it over the line. What behind me? Up on the wall. Everything is down to proof. You've got to prove it. Got lots of final demand. Look, there's letters to him. Yeah, there, there are letters in here. Yeah. Letters all over the place for him. Well, he's obviously disappeared for a reason. One of the hardest hit sectors during the pandemic was the hospitality and events industry. Bars have really struggled during COVID. We are aware of that. Almost a million companies in the UK were at risk of collapse. They have businesses here, and that's why they owe loads of money. Impacting thousands of customers, too. Hi, Alex. Just calling about this particular one. It's uh, an unpaid... Uh, ...judgment in relation to a wedding deposit. If you could make an attendance as soon as possible, please. The wedding planner Casey and Alex are heading to has defaulted on a repayment plan they had previously agreed with the agents. We and you are like a married couple, aren't we? Could you imagine you'd wear the dress and I'd wear, I'd wear the pants? <laughs> well, the only yeah. similarity about being, being married is that we constantly argue. <laughs> the debt is owed to a couple whose wedding was cancelled because of the pandemic. Here it is. Yep. Oh, right. So let's park here. Hello. Sorry to disturb you, madam. My name's Alex. Um, my colleague's with me here, Casey. Uh, are you in charge of the, of the company? Uh, I'm only in charge, but I'm the, one of the managers. OK. The, the woman contacts one of the company directors. Yeah. Hello, my name's Alex. Um, we've uh, been told to attend this premises today. There's a High Court writ been issued against you guys. There's an amount of £2,048.25, and unfortunately, we have been ordered to seize goods here or, or shut this actual venue. So is there anyone who can resolve this amount? OK, no worries. That's absolutely fine. We'll wait here for you. Yeah, no worries, no worries. The company director is on his way with one of the firm's accountants. It would be very surprising if that they allowed it to get to the next stage of, of the listing and removal of goods. I mean, never say never uh, if they decide to dig their heels in, but he seems relatively reasonable. Hello. Hello. Yes. yes. I'm Alex. The director arrives first. Casey, nice to meet you. Oh, are these, are these people that have cancelled their weddings because of the pandemic? Is that what it's about? Ah, so they paid for the wedding. Oh, right. no, they paid a deposit or whatever it was. Right. So they want the deposit back. The debt itself will, will never go downwards unless you start paying it off. That's the only way it's ever going to start going down. If you continue to ignore it, the, the fees that you incur when it goes through the High Court are considerable. When the accountant arrives, the director tells the agents that the company does not have enough money to pay the debt. And I understand that you're saying you have no money. You're going to have to find any other means to collect it. We understand you're struggling at this point, but we don't have an option. It's a trading office. We will be locking the doors with a locksmith. And yes, you know we can do that until it's paid. We don't want to do that. That's the part we don't want to do. We, we, we just want you to be very fit. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, we were. We had the arrangement. Uh, yeah. Uh, but then uh, you I, broke I it. You, uh, what's the minimum I can pay today? Uh, everything. Do, it has to be paid. Everything. Everything. You only get one the chance. May send us here is either to collect the amount that is owed or to remove goods. I'm a lawyer. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. So do you, you know the legislation? Yes, I know the legislation. I don't want to read that to you. You don't need to. We don't want to read But I was just telling you. Everyone thinks they're a lawyer. And unfortunately, everyone thinks they know the law better than us. You need to follow what we're saying with the writ. If you don't, it's interruption of our execution of a writ. That's not very cool. We've been given the decision by the court. That's it. We can't keep arguing. At this point, he's not paying, and he's asked us to reduce it, asked us for another payment arrangement. However, the facts on these was, we were speaking to him in November, we made an arrangement, he paid a thousand pounds, he then offered 250 a month. It's now three months later, they haven't called, they haven't paid anything, so at this point, we act on that on behalf of the claimant, and unfortunately, now we need the payment in full. Please, don't be harsh. I'm not being harsh, I'm trying to explain to you. What's the lowest we can pay today? All of it. Casey and Alice want full payment or a locksmith will be called. Do you own this building or do you rent this building? And they will take control of the premises. Sorry, we owned that. You own this building. So assets and the property can be seized and sold to settle the debt. 
coming up. Third time lucky. David and Sherry refuse to give in. Can you come to the door, please, so we can sort this case out? Mark is seeing double. I thought I was going blind. I've also got another case for 95k. Wow, he owes quite a bit of money. And in Birmingham, You're me up. Casey stands her ground. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. I'm warning you. It's not private. Not private. Enforcement agents Sherry and David have finally tracked down a man named on a high court writ. Got lots of final demands. Well, he's obviously disappeared for a reason. Who owes almost £12,000 in rent from a previous property. It's just a case of going round because there isn't a great deal of um, goods here that are going to cover £12,000. And the PlayStation. PlayStation. But before any assets can be seized, they will need to find proof that he is the owner. We're not here to be mean. People say we're mean, but we're not. We're just doing a job. By listing all the property they believe they could seize. We're leaving this notice, so we put it somewhere where they're gonna, clearly going to see it, TV. They hope the man might be more willing to engage with them when they catch up with him again. Oh wait, this one wasn't open last time. Casey and Alex are trying to get a deposit back for a couple whose marriage was cancelled during the pandemic. The thing is, he owns the building. He's just playing games. The company director says he can't pay. So the agents are looking for assets that could be seized and sold to help repay the debt. Any situation that we're in can change drastically within seconds. It could be calm and all of a sudden irate. Every person that we attend has shock. I'm not leaving the office here. So it could just switch like a, like a, like a light switch that fast. Don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me. I'm warning you now. This private. is not private. This is private. CSN. You've got my name on it. from me, please. Yeah. You're pissing me off here. Don't, let, don't make me call the police. You are the police. You're sitting in my private don't office. Don't you Some people take umbrage to what we're doing. Um, but a lot of the time it's, it's a defence mechanism. And if you were to put bread on your plate... I know you're stressed. I know you're stressed. So you kind of expect to come up against hostility. These are private letters. Hey. Like I said, you touch me again, sir. One more, one more private letters. They're one not private. The They're for the company. You can have it. One more time and the police will be free. And, and that can be difficult to deal with sometimes. They've basically stated that they're a starving company, but if they've got buildings like this, you kind of got to question it. They're not going to let me back in now. That's not good. This is why we don't ever leave your partner. Hello? Whilst Casey struggles outside... Hello? Inside, Alex has made progress. Hey, you all right? Is he paying? Um, I believe he's just waiting for someone to get to transfer him a thousand. Is he? I think so. So he's yeah. paying it, all of it. <laughs> are they definitely sending it, are they? Are they definitely? Oh, they haven't called him back yet. After more than two hours, the company accountant has raised the funds to settle the debt. Do you want me to write it down for you? Is if you transfer it, just just um, let us take a, a screenshot. Oh. So, uh, long and short of it, paid in full. So I'm just going to come get the receipt now. 2048 and pence. Oh, they didn't pay the pence, but hey, I'm not fussed about that. <laughs> but he always continued to ask for a bargain. Yeah. Even, but he got his 25 pence off in the end, so, yeah. you know, that's all right. At the end of the day, we've got uh, the money back for the claimant. Uh, they'll be happy with that. Good job. Yeah, good Case job. Case closed. Let's go. Enforcement agents Sam and Mark have been aggressively confronted by a man who they believe is named on a high court writ. He owes over £85,000 in unpaid rent on another property. Hello. They've asked for police assistance, but whilst they wait, Mark's made an eye-watering discovery. Chris, I thought I was going blind. The case I was given is for 85 k all right? right? I've also got another case for 95 k 
I have just checked the claim numbers. I assumed they were different and yet they've paid some off. They're two different cases. Mr. Bada Alazimi has two outstanding High Court writs in his name, each for unpaid rent owed to two different landlords for two separate properties. <sighs> two different claimants? Yeah. Wow. And he owes quite a bit of money. How are you? So this is the mail in question. Yep. It does look like the mail upstairs. Yeah. But he's reluctant to show any paperwork that he resides at the property. He does look like a person, even though he's shown evidence of another name. Otherwise, we will have to break it down. Now, open the door, please. Right, love, thank you very much. Under Section 17, we are entering the property. Just having kids. I'm trying to do anything. Here's a mess. I want to do things that's part of joking, right? Here's a mess. They climbed out the window. Possibly, yeah. Mr. Alazimi has disappeared. I'm an absolute shock. I call them Houdinis. That's strange. People disappearing, yeah, it happens all the time. I've knocked on doors, walked in, and people are underneath the table. Or, oh, you look out the bathroom window, and there they are, hanging off the side of the wall. Mark and Sam find lots of ID in the flat, all in the same name as the driving license Mr. Alazimi showed them earlier. Mashari Alanezi. What's the title from that? And there's a striking resemblance between the two men. The resemblance is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Do you see yeah, what we're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. When I said the two IDs looked similar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My head hurts. Satisfied they have located Mr. Alazimi. Mark. The agents discover documents to suggest he may have the cash to clear the debt. 10 grand been sent and another 13 grand. What number's on that? His name. Is it? He's transferring funds. Sam? Yeah? What you got? Have a look at that. Tell me what you think. When the debtors do disappear and go to grounds, that's when we speak to the family, explain to them the severity of this, explain the repercussions. Then the wives, the mums, the sons do speak to them, and nine times out of ten, they do engage with us. Did you manage to get a phone call? A family member gets someone on the phone they're told is Mr. Alazimi. Hi. Right, you've got a High Court writ, sir, and the outstanding amount was at eight, uh, £86,259.70. 86000 OK. And the monies need to be paid. Are you talking about £86,000? OK, the bad news is, sir, I have to tell you, you've got two outstanding debts. Sam informs him that they're now aware he owes £180,000 in unpaid rent. Put yourself on my side. So all the scenarios are not nice. Of course it's not. No, I agree with you, yeah. Hello, you OK? Is he going to pay? Mr. Alazimi agrees to make a payment of £1,500 in cash today. Yeah, yeah, no problem. See it right now. Cheers, bye. But if no more payments are forthcoming, Mark has a backup plan. Downstairs, an associate of Mr. Alazimi showed him an insurance policy with a number of high-value vehicles listed, with Mr. Alazimi named as the main driver. We've got three cars that they use, including a Rolls-Royce, 120k. So we'll be looking for that as well. Mark has seen enough evidence to reasonably believe the cars could belong to Mr. Alazimi. If he can find them, they could be seized and sold to repay the debt. Unless someone else can prove they own the vehicles. Third time lucky. In the residential suburbs of Coventry, Sherry and David are paying another surprise visit to someone who owes almost £12,000 to the owner of a property they rented in the past. There's always a possibility that um, he's going to come out with a weapon and start having a go at the van. 
on their previous visit. I am on high alert. Yeah. A large axe was discovered by the police. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't want to be beheaded today. This time, they're waiting for the police to arrive before attempting to speak with the man again. Oh, I wonder if they're coming for us. Yeah, do. Oh, game on. Ooh, hello. Morning. Morning. The agents are keen to get the man's attention. It's oh. not left a key in, is she? So they can discuss the debt. I wonder if I took the horn that would make him come out. <laughs> Curtains are moving. He's looking out the window. Can you come down? Can you come to the door, please, so we can sort this case out? Well, he knows we're here. Someone's in there. But it's just a waiting game now. If you think somebody is pulling a fast one and they're playing the system and playing the game, it comes down to who's going to back down first, and it's very rarely in the enforcement agents. I don't know why people just can't come down and talk about it. Coming up... Don't ignore me! Sherry flushes out her man. He thinks he's above the law. The cheek of that. And back in West London... Sam! 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 Agents clamp £75,000 Range Rover. You apologise? I don't want you apologise. I want my car. Right, calm down. Don't play with me. On their last visit, enforcement agents Mark and Sam were confronted by a man who owes £180,000 in unpaid rent to two different landlords. Have they climbed out the window? Possibly, yeah. Before he disappeared. Joking, right? Mr Alazimi tried to pass himself off as someone else. My name is Mishari. Okay. Uh, this one, this one different to me? Eventually, £1,500 was paid towards the debt. But with no more payments made, the agents have returned right. to try and find the high-value vehicles that Mr. Alazimi was insured on as the main driver. Have a look. Play hide and seek and try and find the car. Starting with a Rolls Royce worth £120,000. Of course, it's not going to jump out at us. Sam, Sam, Sam. And a Range Rover valued at seventy-five thousand pounds. That's it. That is it. Yeah. No, you'd be easy to be honest. That is a nice car. He's the only driver for his vehicle, and it's rear finance for sure. So if we don't pay. It's going. As the agents try to raise Mr. Alazimi, someone else approaches them and claims he is the owner of the car. The Land Rover, why you do Clambert? I don't know. Why? Right. You can't call DVLA. Don't tell me what. Call the DVLA. Tell them who the, keep, who the owner. He told you my name. That is my name. Let me see your name, sorry. Yes, sorry. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. You can take mine. No oh, problem. thank you, thank you. The man shows Sam a driving license in the name of Mashari Alanezi. The person that Mr. Alazimi had claimed to be when the agents last visited. We've got your insurance documents. Yeah, that is not my problem, the insurance. Right. Oh, the owner. We need to see the bill of sale. You don't have bill of sale. Yeah, I, I'll bring you the record. You've got the insurance and everything for that vehicle, right? You don't, no, no insurance in the car, no. Nobody insures the car. Nobody in insurance. My car is not insurance. Is it sure? Yeah, you can check. I've got, I have checked. I've got no, it. no, no, no. If you, you man, check. Right. Take the car from my car, please. You said it's not insured, so it's not going anywhere. Yeah, not so okay, there's no need to unclamp it. How did you purchase it? Buy cash, 2018. Cash. That car's a nice car. Yeah. It's worth a lot of money. Okay. If you turn up to a car place with, how much is it, 100K? Cash? Who pays Why? a car cash? This is a situation yeah. Yeah. with a high court writ for Bada yeah. Nasir Alazimi. Don't you don't know him? Yeah, I don't know him. He says he doesn't know Mr. Alazimi. Oh, OK. Yeah, better. But when Mr. Alazimi appears, that is good. his story changes. Are you brothers, then? 
Dozens. Dozens. Yeah. Dozens. Twist and turns here massively. There's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah. That is the line. What do you do? The plot thickens. You didn't know he used your ID the other day, didn't you? He was you. He's trying to say he's as handsome as you. He was saying that. Yeah, he was saying he was you. And Mr. Alanezi wants a turn at trying to mislead the agents too. The first time it's me when you come. It's me. No time. I show you. First time where? Yeah, I, I bring you the passport and I go inside. You jump inside my home and I come back fight with you. It's me. Look, these work, you know. Okay, you can check with me. Oh, it's definitely him. No. It's definitely him. Believe me, it's me. It's me, not you. That's dangerous. <laughs> no, believe me, it's me. No. You can check the camera. So, so on camera now, on my camera, you're telling me you were the person who assaulted us. Assaulted us? Assaulted us. Assaulted. assaulted like you ever won on that foot? Assaulted. Yeah? No. Did you assault this female? Yes or no? no. So you weren't there in the flat, were you? Yeah, so else. don't lie. Yeah, exactly. This was... is why your integrity is non-existent. His integrity is non-existent. You keep swapping each other over. Mark asked the office to speak with the High Court Enforcement Officer in charge. They will not provide us the proof of payment. Where does it say the car? Where's the registration? We don't know what car that's for. He explains why he has reasonable belief that the car actually belongs to Mr. Alazimi. If you look at the insurance documents, there is only one driver on this car, and that is our defendant. He is the only driver. It says there, uh, there's four cars, he's the main driver in all of them, and only his wife can drive the other one. And the High Court enforcement officer agrees. Right, I've received permission to lift this vehicle. I'll, uh, I'll give you an ETA sooner than that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, bye. With the green light to seize the £75,000 vehicle. If that's my car, I'd put obstacles in the way. Mark explains the situation to Mr. Alanezi. Oh, you want something from Shari? Yes or no? The identification you've no, given No, 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 yes or no? You the want identification, something from The identification you've given us. I'm just telling you, the identification you've given us. Yeah. Uh, I told you it's my car. What do you want from me? Why do you want to take my car? As Mr. Alanezi hasn't provided any documents that irrefutably prove he owns the vehicle. They're not happy with the paperwork. Let's see. Which paperwork? I can't bring it over here. I thought I sent one the paperwork. Mark believes it to be Mr. Alazimi's and will be towing it away today. Don't play with me. A hundred miles away, Sherry and David are relentlessly trying to get a man who owes nearly £12,000 to face up to his debt. Can you mirror? Where'd the door go? Uh, you want me to do a statement today? Right. That'd be here for ages, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, statement for what? Oh. Daniel! Don't ignore me! You see, come out with a full balaclava. Oh, he's called a taxi. He's... He's gone. The cheek of that. The defendant has just literally walked past the van in a balaclava and walked away and got picked up by another car. They're not, obviously not interested to pay this debt. He, he just walked away. For me, it's just total arrogance. It's like he stuck his fingers up at us and said, well, that's it. Now what you're gonna do? Yeah. I can't believe that. <laughs> there comes a time when you say, right, I've been here however many hours. Today I'll go home, but I'll come back next week. They have to pay their debts, you know. Yeah. I've come across some tricky characters, but he is another level. Very arrogant. He's yeah. another level. He thinks he's above the law. He might have avoided paying his rent in the past. But once enforcement agents with a high court writ have you in their sights, they won't give up trying to find you. Boom. As predicted. Agents Mark and Sam have taken control of a Range Rover they believe belongs to a Mr. Alazimi who owes £180,000 in unpaid rent on two different properties. Whoever parked that, OK, this is where it jumps from civil to criminal, because yeah, okay. they're stopping enforcement hard yeah, a bit. To find, them, it's not, to find them, it's not a problem, because the police will just get involved now, yeah, yeah, get registration, and they get arrested. 
debtors have a tactic as well, and that is a delay tactic, hoping that we will go away. You do get the, what, the odd ones when you think, right, no, they're not going to beat me here. Oh. Mr. Alanezi, who maintains he owns the car, locks himself inside. This is the situation. When the police do get here, we are going to physically remove a small car. We're physically going to remove the other car. And also, we're going to state that you assaulted us last time and we'll be getting you arrested. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you. Emergency service. Uh, please, please. Last time we attended this address, we got assaulted. And the person who did it is also here now. And what sort of vehicle is it? It's a Range Rover. Recovery truck's turned up and we're going to start removing it and there will be a breach piece. We'll get a unit out as soon as possible. Thank you ever so much. Okay, all right, then we'll see you in a bit. Thank you, bye. bye. The men have refused to hand over the keys, which will mean putting skates under the vehicle to get it out of the car park. So what's the plan? So you're going to use your, your van as brakes. Got it. It's good. We're going to get in there. We're getting there. <laughs> the police arrive. But once again, Mr. Bada Alazimi, who owes the money, disappears. Where's, ba where's Bada now? He's disappeared. Oh, he's run away. Leaving Mr. Alanezi, who says he's his cousin, to deal with the situation. They go back, they go to the court, and they say that you've, you've obstructed them. Which can, potentially be a, which can potentially be a criminal offence. That's going to be far more trouble going forward. Okay, baby. Okay, let him go to the court. But yeah. the car's going now. Believe me, no, 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 no. We go around in circles, OK? I apologise you've been dragged into this. You okay. apologise? I don't want you to apologise. I want my car. This is why the assets get held for seven days for cases like this. In order to seize it, agents must reasonably believe an asset belongs to a person named on a high court writ. We've given all the paperwork, every single sheet you have given us, to the office. And they're more than happy to back up our decision yeah. to remove this. Seized property is not sold immediately. Well, I've given the paper, I show you. Officer, you haven't shown me anything that says you own the notebook. This allows time for someone else to make a third party claim and provide sufficient evidence to prove they are the legitimate owner. We're going to leave this to the courts. So, could you please hand over the keys so we no, can drive it out I here? Don't give you a piece. If okay. you obstruct us, this sir, is when it drips sir, out of the That's just nothing, that's nothing we can sir. do. People don't believe what we're saying sometimes. They claim they know the law. Then they get the police involved. The police turn around and say, no, he is correct. This is live. You need to pay. Otherwise, that's going. We have just spoken to the person who's claiming his car is. He's seen sense. He's going to hand the keys over to the recovery driver. He's going to jump in it. Drive it out, and we're going to load it on the wagon. Good result, yeah. I was been a lot of pushing. After months of distress for the people owed the money, it's safe like that on skates. The agents may finally have found a way to recover some of the one hundred and eighty thousand pounds. Scratch, full scratch. I believe we did the right thing. I believe that's his asset. Good luck. He's handed over the keys. But from the beginning to the end, the web of lies was just never ending, you know? If that was Spider-Man, he'd wrapped up the world by then. That was job satisfaction, to be fair. Mr. Alanezi did later challenge the removal of the vehicle in court. A judge decided that the vehicle should be returned to him. Mr. Alazimi declared himself bankrupt around the time the agents were pursuing him. He still owes £180,000 in unpaid rent. Next time. Here we go, watch your back. A face off with protective parents. I'm telling you, yes. you don't live here. I don't care what you want. Piss off. Piss off. That escalated a bit quickly. And Alex and Casey hit the jackpot. We'll be looking at seizing the Bentley. In their pursuit to get people paid. He knows who it is. It's non-payment of wages. I need a payment now. <laughs>